Greetings, Read Elementary. Welcome to another wonderful read aloud. I'm gonna highlight the author, Michael Garland, for several books. And I've chosen him because I believe he illustrates his books using computer graphics. And this book is like a seek and find book. And I believe during the holiday season and the winter season, it's the ideal time to read more books. So please visit the library ask for curbside pickup and check out books from Michael Garland. Today, it is a super snow day, a seek and find book by Michael Garland. Hooray, it's a snow day. And if you look at this picture, I love all the shapes on the bedspread, his Aunt Jean, here you have a person going on a sleigh ride, those little great images are important to find because he places one on every page. Dear reader, this book is a puzzle, a hide and seek game. You can hunt in the snow for prizes to claim. Winter sports symbols are placed here to find. It won't be that easy. It's a test of your mind. Snowy titles throughout. There are songs, poems, and books. Just keep your eyes wide, you'll find where to look. On a walk to in the woods, there are animals near, but some sleep away at this time of year. Check the book's covers, the front and the back, so many things to discover, so try and keep track. Take a pencil and paper and carefully look. Make a list of the things that you find in this book. My list is at the end. Take yours and compare. If the two don't agree, there's no need to despair. Look again at these pages, as you, and as you go through, you'll see if you're careful. My Numbers Are True by Aunt Jean. Tommy was about to eat his breakfast when he heard the TV news lady say, The schools are closed. It's a snow day. Tommy looked into his cereal bowl and saw a note from his Aunt Jean. Take a look out the window. This is more than a flurry. You have time on your hands now and not one single worry. So also on each page, he writes the word snow in a different language. This one is A-P-U-T. And I just love all the different designs he embellishes each page with. And even the page numbers are a symbol of a snowflake. Tommy couldn't wait to get outside and had fun, but first he had to shovel the walk. He scooped up a note with his first shovel full of snow. When you finish your work, you can come into town. The world looks all new when snow is coming down. And just like the author said, he wrote a title, Snowflake Bentley, in the corner. And Snisha is another snow word. And, I'll, oh, and here's the gray symbol of somebody playing hockey. I do love these seek and find books. This page is one of my favorites with all the activities on the city streets for a snow day. And snow song. Oh, bob sledding races. Or not bob sledding. This is dog sledding races, excuse me. But Tommy strapped on his snowshoes and trucked into town. The streets were alive with people enjoying the snowy day. If you walk to town square, you will see something smart. You have to be crafty to turn snow into art. So I feel like I have to look. Because it is true, this man is magnificent, Michael Garland. When Tommy reached the town square, he saw a group of huge snow sculptures that people had made to celebrate their snow holiday. On the first one, there was a note. We've cleared off the whole lake Find a rod and some bait. You might get a bite. You just have to wait. Here's another word, snow, for snow. This time they have a downhill skier in the corner. To me, it's just magical. All these sculptures he designed with computers. Oh, that's right. And on each page, there's a letter and it spells something at the end. Like I said, it's a search and find. You can read this book again and again. And this book makes me think of Lake Winnebago, what it would be like by Menominee Park and underneath that frozen ice. 
When he reached the lake, Tommy took off his snowshoes and joined the other fishers, hoping to hook a big one. Across the lake, an ice boat's rate was sailing past. Tommy caught a big fish that had a note in its mouth. Come join the crowd, go for a glide. A sleigh and some horses make a nice winter ride. Just trying to open here is another word, snow. I always like to try the, to find the symbol of the snow activity. Oh, here it is, sledding in the snow. Sometimes Aunt Jean, oh yeah, I think Aunt Jean is on every page too. Here she is, like wee, gliding over the ice. Tommy followed the crowd going into town park and took a ride on an old fashioned sleigh. There was a note on his seat. Take a stroll in the woods with the snow to your knees. If you look closely, you'll see more than trees. Look at, here's an ice skater this time. I love the horses too and all the gold embellishments on their bridle. Uh, this is one of the best pages. Can you identify all the prints of the animals in the snow? Take a snow walk if you have time, once we get snow, a lot of it. While Tommy was walking through the forest, he noticed different animal tracks in the snow. Then he saw a note stuck to a thorn bush. That hole in the snow, it leads to a den. There's someone asleep there. Do you know who and when? Hmm. Let's see what we can find. This page is again one of my favorites. How all the animals hibernate during this deep winter, cold, long winter. Tommy looked into the mouth of the burrow. He could hear snoring. I wonder who is sleeping in there. Just then a note came fluttering down with the snow. We're moving along now, there are people to greet. You might get a chill the first time you meet. Oop, and here's the word snudge, no. Aunt Jean at the top of the page. Ah, uh, look at all these snow creatures eating a popsicle. It's a good thing to do in this cold, cold weather. Tommy continued his walk in the woods until he met Old Man Winter, Jack Frost, and the abominable snowman. Jack Frost handed Tommy a note. It's a slippery slope, but you'll give it a try. Just don't stop your climbing till you get to the sky. Tommy came upon a band of climbers who were about to scale the side of an ice-covered mountain. They invited him to join them. When they reached the peak, he found a note stuck to an ice cup. Hey, hop on the back. You're in for a thrill. Before you know it, you've sled down the hill. And here's a person ice fishing. And look at them all working together. Here's another book, The Snowy Day. I do love to just look at all the ideas. Ooh, look at all those icicles. At the top of the mountain, Tommy looked around and saw a bobsled race was just about to begin. The racers gave Tommy a helmet and he climbed aboard. Then they took off down the mountain. There was a note stuck to the tail fin. When you get to the bottom, try checking in for a day. There's a frosty reception if you're planning to stay. And I believe this is the word snow on the front of the bobsled. Here, cross-country skiing for an idea during the winter. Ah, check out the ice palace or the ice castle. Do you want to take out a notebook and start sketching some of these pictures? I know I do. They inspire me, this book. Tommy couldn't believe his eyes. Before him was a grand hotel made entirely of ice. On the front door, there was a note. Now go to the beach and see something cool. Swimming in winter, they'll say you're a fool. Oh my goodness, and here's the snow of Kilimanjaro. Another activity is building a snow person. Like I said, it's a delightful book. The swimmers were having fun, so Tommy jumped right into the freezing water with them. He found a note frozen to the top of a bald man's head. Come in from the cold and warm yourself up. I've got hot chocolate to fill up your cup. And again, here's the bobsled racing in the winter. Another word for snow. Uh, there's the note on the bald man's head. And Jean, she's bobbing in the water. 
please, I hope you get a chance to check out this book from the public library at Curbside Pickup. Look at Happy Snow Day. Each letter was on the pages as we turned. Look at Aunt Jean with her super scarf. And then, this is another treasure at the back of the book. Michael Garland takes time to identify each snow track that he placed, animal track that he placed in the book. And then he shares which language each word was written. That means snow. And all the images that he put throughout the book. So thank you for listening. Read Rockets. And I hope you get a chance to look at his books because they are treasures. Thank you for listening.